this is really a celebration of the tradition of philanthropy in our community. As you know, the peninsula is a very generous and giving community. And so what we really want to do tonight is celebrate those values and that tradition. Um, we are starting off with the Outstanding Community Service Program Award, which will be awarded jointly this year to the Palos Verdes Sunset Rotary Club and the Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club, and that's really in recognition of both Rotary Club's long-term hands-on volunteerism and support of a number of different philanthropies throughout the South Bay. Um, and then the next award will be for the Outstanding Nonprofit Organization, and we're so honored tonight to be able to present that to Marymount California University. Um, as you know, um, one of the core values at Marymount is service and social justice. Um, their students in the last three years have donated over 50,000 hours to the community. Um, they're great community partners. They have a diversity of students um, that they are educating. Uh, they open their classes to seniors, um, part of the Peninsula Seniors, who can audit their classes. And they have great cultural arts programs for that are free and open to the public. So they're an outstanding, excuse me, an outstanding beacon of um, the nonprofit world. So we're very happy to be able to honoring honor them this evening. And then. Lastly, the pinnacle of the evening, all the excitement is building, um, and the R. Eric P. Allen Citizen of the Year Award will be given to Sandra Sanders um, for her long-term philanthropic leadership. Uh, she has supported, as you may know, um, Torrance Memorial Hospital, the Norris Center for the Performing Arts, St. John Fisher Church, the Palos Verdes Art Center, the Palos Verdes Land Conservancy, Rainbow Services, the list goes on and on. Her own firm has fed thousands of people um, for many years at Thanksgiving, donated toys to the needy, etc. And I think um, one of the programs that she has been involved with for such a long time is Children's Miracle Network and Children's Hospital LA. Um, she has um, single-handedly gotten all of her agents involved in Children's Miracle Network. And so a portion of every transaction that runs through REMAX estate properties, the agents donate money to Children's Hospital LA. So this year alone, that will amount to in excess of $65,000. What a great role model she is for women because she's done this on her own. Exactly. She is a legendary entrepreneur, as we well know. She's been a mentor to so many in our community. Um, you know, when you when I speak to people in the community about Sandra, their faces light up and they talk about her generosity, her warmth, her caring, and her compassion. And so, you know, in, in thinking about this evening, um, there are so many thousands of lives really that her philanthropy has touched and those people that she has helped will never be able to meet her and will never be able to thank her personally and so I'm thrilled that the Chamber of Commerce is able to speak a little bit on their behalf and um, extend some thanks to Sandra for her incredible philanthropic leadership over many many years. Very nice, and of course, everybody in the community is coming out to Terranea tonight to celebrate with you guys. Yes, we are very, very excited to be at the award-winning Terranea Resort. Um, they are pulling out all the stops to make this a fabulous evening, and we're so appreciative to Terranea for hosting us and um, to our many sponsors for the event, Malaga Bank, Torrance Memorial Hospital, and, and uh, so many others who have come together to make this event um, truly a great celebration of philanthropy. While you're enjoying your salads, I just want to say a couple of things about um, some of the people here to have made this evening possible. Um, first, I want to tell you about the Chamber. At the Chamber of Commerce, we believe in the entrepreneurial spirit that makes this country great. And we believe that when local businesses thrive, the quality of life in the community improves exponentially. At the heart of all the work we do is our Chamber Board of Directors. And so I would like to announce their names and please stand up. If you could hold your applause till the end, that would be wonderful. We have George Walker, our chairman of the board, from George Walker & Associates, Alan Bond, Bank of America Home Loans, Marilyn Lyon, South Bay Environmental Services Center, David Adishi in Nantucket Crossing, Kelly Curtis in Tagliata, Marymount California University, Jerry Carees, Remax Commercial, Teresa Scott, HQ, a Regis company, Lily Amini, Trump National Golf Club. Jackie Crowley, Remax Palos Verdes. <laughs> Melissa Griswold, Griswold and Griswold Insurance Agency, Inc. Terry Hack from Terranea Resort. 
Marvin Jackman, Southern California Edison. Sherry Kramer, Continental Development Corporation. Pang Mueller, Tesoro Refining and Marketing Company. Sean Nejad, Rancho Palos Verdes Flowers. Sasha O'Hara, Malaga Bank. Hank Parker, PDM LLP. John Pollan, Premier Bank of Palos Verdes. And Sharon Ryan and Uncommon Journey, thank you for your service. The Chamber's Chairman Circle sponsors also make an annual contribution to support the Chamber's programs. Um, we have a number of our Chairman Circle sponsors here tonight, so please stand and you will be recognized. And again, please hold your applause. Malaga Bank, Terranea Resort, Torrance Memorial Medical Center, Connecta Federal Credit Union, State Farm Insurance Rob Merrith, Continental Development Corporation, Marymount California University, Premier Bank of Palos Verdes, Kaiser Permanente, Southern California Edison, Nantucket Crossing, Medawar Fine Jewelers, Promenade on the Peninsula, the Gas Company, and the Water Replenishment District of Southern California. Thank you to our sponsors. Before we pull the opportunity drawing ticket, um, I have a very special thank you that I would like to express on behalf of um, myself and the Chamber of Commerce. We would like to give a special thank you to Terry Hack, the Executive Vice President and Managing Director of Terranea Resort. She's right there. Terry's ongoing support her strategic vision, her sponsorships, her business acumen, her leadership, and her subsidies have been invaluable to the Chamber of Commerce and really have enabled us to have this event here this evening. Terry, thank you so much for your generous support of our Chamber and indeed the entire community and for hosting this very memorable event and evening for all of our honorees. And we have a bouquet for you if you'd like to come forward. Would you like to say a few words? <laughs> of course. Now this is not the program. Okay. Good evening. I hope you like the dinner I made. <laughs> We're so grateful for everything that the Chamber does for Terranea. Thank you for being here this evening. And thank you. So tonight you're being honored here and the Rotary Club just does so much great work. Talk about that. Well, we feel very honored because I think Susie Zimmerman of the other club agrees with me that, that we are representing our clubs. We are representing Rotarians across the world. And our motto is service above self. So when the chamber recognizes that, we feel like everyone is recognized, and it's such a privilege to be able to be the recipient of that on behalf of so many people. You're used to being on the other side where you're doing all the good work. What kind of things are you involved with? Well, right now, our current things are we're very involved with Colorado relief victims. We found out that uh, it's almost Katrina proportions in some of those places. You think that a flood comes and goes, but there are people whose lives have been forever changed as a result of this. And there have been so many disasters with, with climate that um, it's easy for people to be momentarily interested and then forget. So our club has decided to join the Denver Rotary and they are raising Boku dollars to take care of people who really need it. And I am telling you, these are people who have nothing. Everything has been wiped away in small towns like Lyons, Colorado. So that's number one that's current. Number two is Rotary International has been involved for a long time on uh, the eradication of polio. We, we have actually contributed more than a billion dollars, that's with a B, toward the eradication of polio worldwide. And the Bill Gates Foundation has worked with us and we have worked with them. It's been a great synergy. But it's not over yet. 
And so that continuation on the fight against polio is very big. It takes a lot of people to get together to give back, but the things that you do are just amazing. They really are. You know, the reason why I got involved in Rotary was that there were so many things that, as one person, I didn't know how to get involved in. For example, uh, our club has taken a real interest in Wounded Warrior Project. One person can write the check that goes every month, and that's good, and I do it, and, and millions of people, I think, do it. But if you're part of an organization, you can do something much more significant. And uh, we've worked with uh, Children's Hospital. We have done a fair amount uh, with our schools here locally. And uh, we have a reading program at Harbor Interfaith that is so exciting. One of our members, uh, he, he lost his wife recently, and he named the reading room at Harbor Interfaith after his wife. So our club then could get involved with books, and we read down there to the children. Every time a speaker comes to uh, present to our club, they're given a book where they inscribe their name and then it goes back to the to the children's reading room. Those kinds of things one individual alone can't do. But when you're part of an organization, you can do really good things. So Jerry, we're here tonight to honor Sandra and Mary Mountain, some of the other, uh, the Rotaries and the other clubs that give back. Just talk about how important that is, especially in an area where people have it to give back. Well, first of all, I'd like to begin by personally Congratulating Sandra Sanders, uh, Marymount California University, and the two Rotaries, Pals Rotaries Sunset Rotary and Pals Rotaries Peninsula Rotary, uh, on this great achievement. We have a very tight community here on the peninsula, um, not just Rancho Palos Verdes, but our three sister cities. And I want to start throwing San Pedro in there too, because they kind of they, they get the short end when we mention our sister cities, and they really are a sister city also. And Marymount's involved in San Pedro. Um, but these, these types of events are important because it recognizes all the good works and there, there are so many organizations on the hill that, that do good works locally and internationally and the two Rotaries work very hard internationally and Marymount does good works locally and uh, you know Sandra throughout LA County so again my hats off to everyone and it's, it's totally apropos that they get recognized tonight. Interesting. We learned so much just about like the the floods in Colorado, and you think about Katrina and all these things that have happened. And our Rotary clubs right here in Palos Verdes, and, and our people are the ones helping to, to fix that. Exactly. And uh, personal uh, personal experience with respect to the flood in Colorado. A good friend of mine, Rex Hybe, had his house wiped out. Uh, fellow Academy grad, but he lived up in. Uh, uh, Lyons, Colorado, so our hearts go out to him. So I know exactly what it is. I actually, he sent a video of the devastation and the water just came roaring through and he had a beautiful uh, home that uh, was, was devastated. So anyway, it's, it's great that, you know, people here in Southern California who may be somewhat removed and we're, we, we are a little bit isolated and, and those people need our help and it's good that the Rotary's stepping up and doing that. Very, very good work. Thank you, Alan, and uh, good evening, Pals Verdes. Okay, I'm no Don Canavi. I won't even try. It is my pleasure to present the award for Outstanding Community Service Program jointly to the Palos Verdes Sunset Rotary Club and the Palos and the Palos Verdes Peninsula Palos Verdes Sunset Rotary Club and the Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club. These clubs are part of an international organization of over 34,000 clubs worldwide. This award is given to an organization which actively promotes and supports volunteerism and service to a diverse set of philanthropies in the community. Accepting this award will be Sandy Farrell, President, Palos Verdes Sunset Rotary Club, and Susie Zimmerman, President, Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club. As the Palos Verde Sunset Rotary Club approaches its 25th silver anniversary, its members continue to exemplify Rotary's motto, service above self. Club members can be seen engaging in hands-on city celebration, chamber of commerce events like tonight, and the Long Beach Veterans Hospital. The Sunset Club 
also is building future generations of volunteer leaders through their sponsorship of an Interact Club at Palos Verdes High School, my alma mater, go Sea Kings, Yay! and Andrea Sala, my sister, and a, a Rotaract Club at Marymount College Uni at California University. Congratulations on being a four-year university. As a part of its commitment to education, the club provides scholarships to local high schools and college students and sponsors Project Ego in cooperation with our local school district. Another, another main major focus of the Sunset Club has been its longstanding Project Amigo, which has provided educational opportunities, material support, and medical and dental services to low-income children in Mexico. The club recently partnered with a sister, sister club in Puerto Vallarta to build and equip a medical clinic and continues to provide financial support to an orphanage there. Sandy, in recognition of the Palos Verdes Sunset Rotary Club's support of volunteerism and service to a wide range of philanthropies across the country, the community, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce is honored to present your club with the Outstanding Community Service Program Award. You know, Rotarians worldwide are honored with this tribute because it really speaks about our motto of service above self. And I know that Susie joins me in our appreciation for the chamber and for all of you to recognize this in terms of, of how all of us can make a difference in the world. The little uh, screen thing that you gave and what's in the program gives you an idea of who we are as PV Sunset, but I would like to just mention two very current things in which you might choose to help us. Right now, Palos Verde Sunset Rotary is collecting money for the flood victims who have experienced real disaster in Colorado. I know that you've watched things on television and you think it, it's pretty devastating, but there are small towns in Colorado that are experiencing Katrina-type devastation. They've lost everything, their homes, their possessions, and in some cases, their hope for the future. So if you'd like to join us with that, and you'd like to drop off a donation for the, California, or the Colorado relief victims, you can drop off a check at the Red Onion and just write Rotary on the envelope, and we will put your dollars with our dollars where they, I think they can make a real difference in the lives of people who truly need help. The other thing is that those of you who are familiar with Rotary all know the Rotary wheel. That's our symbol. But we have another symbol. Our symbol is this. And this means this close. We are this close to abolishing polio worldwide. <laughs> you know, Rotary International has raised over a billion, and that's with a B, dollars to eradicate polio. Phenomenal. We've worked with the uh, Bill Gates Association, the foundation, and, and they've come through with $500 million. I mean, this is a big deal. But if one case of polio exists, we face a potential epidemic. We have to end it. And so we want to thank all of the cities on the peninsula because Palos Verdes Estates, Rolling Hills Estates, Rolling Hills, and Rancho Palos Verdes have all come together 
to join Rotary and announce October 24th as Polio World Day. And that means that we recognize that we are this close. And if we recognize it, we support it. And if we support it, we raise funds to end it. So please, all of you, join Rotary, Palos Verdes Sunset, Palos Verdes Peninsula, Palos Verdes Peninsula, Sunset, and International to end the scourge of polio, a devastating and destructive disease forever from the planet. Thank you very much. Well, you know, it's been a mantra of mine that we are blessed to live in this wonderful paradise, but a blessing is not an entitlement. And in order for us to really understand and uh, appreciate, we have to demonstrate that we appreciate where we are by giving back. So it is, it not only helps others, and I've counseled people who I know have been so lost within themselves, they've become so self-absorbed, that they have not been able to see outside themselves, that once they go to, whether it is the Red Cross or Shawl House or um, one of our battered women's shelters or any philanthropy that we have, the Assistance League, that you realize there's a lot of satisfaction that comes to you by helping others. And if we don't help others, then we're going to be in a pretty sorry situation in a very short time. Not just monetarily, financially, all these institutions, but our ethics, our morals, our values will all be really compromised. So we need to do that. Well, it's so nice to see so many people in our own community who see the value of that, and they're just working tirelessly to help all these people. They, they are. And, and the people that are here that do this, we. We see them from the Norris Theater, the two Rotaries, Mary Mount and, um, and Sandra Sanders. I mean, she has been a wonderful philanthropist for many, many years. So it, it's a really good sampling of w the good that we have in this wonderful community. Well, I, I don't think many times the Peninsula realizes how fortunate they are. Uh, they, you know, they have it to you know, have so many groups and organizations and individuals that continue to give back. And, uh, you know, there's a very unique community up here. Uh, I'm proud to be a small part of it, uh, to feel part of it, but I'm honored to be here tonight to be presenting the Citizen of the Year, as well as doing some auctioneering to help raise money for the, for the chamber. But again, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about awards or things like that. It's, it's what organizations, what individuals have given to the community, and I think that's what makes this evening so special. It's amazing. We were talking earlier to the, one of the Rotaries, and they're helping the people in Colorado and Children's Hospital, and everybody just reaches out where it's needed. Well, as I tell people from time to time, whether it's the Rotary or other organizations, at the end of the day, organizations like Rotary and Rotary International probably provide close to $1 billion a year in services to America, and the most important thing about that is that many of those services would not be or happen without the Rotaries. So what they've done on the Hill, I mean, I know they got their little organizations and their little challenges going, golf tournaments or whatever it may be, but at the end of the day, all of them give back. And that's what volunteer is all about. And to be able to be a part of that is really spectacular because Everybody has their own success story. Everybody, like myself, you feel very, very fortunate. So if you have an opportunity to give back, you do it. And these groups and organizations here tonight and individuals, very special evening. Congratulations on being honored you know, here tonight. But really, it's just about giving back. And it's something that Marymount thinks about besides education, and that's giving back to the community. Well, it is. We, um, we're really grateful for the heritage the sisters gave to us and our sisters uh, were the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary. They are, the RSHM. And uh, yeah, the, the mission is really simple, which is to serve others so that all may have life. Very simple. So we hire the best faculty, the best staff, who hopefully are role models for our kids, our students, right? And then they go out into the community 
and our students are definitely involved uh, in the South Bay, in Palos Verdes, uh, and tonight, in fact, um, one of the honorees is Rotary, and we have a very active Rotaract program. So, uh, you know, finally, um, about five years ago, when we made the change to being a four-year university, we implemented a service learning requirement. So, so frankly, there are a thousand students now. They're doing service all over the South Bay. I can barely keep track of it, but with lots, lots of really great groups, ranging from the elementary school in our neighborhood, which is Miracat, all the way down to uh, into San Pedro at the Boys and Girls Club of Valley Harbor. So uh, it, it is great to be part of that community, and it is just it's expected that we uh, we need to give back, certainly to our our host community, Palos Verdes but also surrounding communities. We've actually met so many of the students that have given back, and what a great gift they're getting and a learning experience to go out into the community and go out in their life and know that that's such an important thing. I think it's interesting to see the students who, or hear from the students who have changed their degrees or their area of um, education because of the service learning, which to me, that that's a bigger statement, you know? And to see the faculty and staff have to put the aprons on and, and do this stuff as well is great. Marymount College for us, and this is the reason why I'm here to support the Chambers event, it has been just a pillar in the downtown San Pedro community with their waterfront campus. We have, are talking about um, waterfront redevelopment at the Port of Los Angeles and what better way to create this partnership with Marymount College, Dr. Brophy, the students, the faculty. We uh, have welcomed them with open arms. It's amazing because we've done a lot of stories with Marymount and the Boys and Girls Club and how the students go down there, they help out, and you can see the students' lives being changed just from giving back. Well, it's, it's their mission. It truly is their mission and uh, in their core values, if you talk about the university, um, not only focusing on education, but also the importance of giving back to the community. Um, as, a for, as a former board member of the LA Harbor Boys and Girls Club, I, I saw firsthand the commitment from the students mentoring and tutoring in the College Bound program. It was incredible. And that's what we want in the community. We want those partnerships um, to celebrate and highlight the efforts uh, in with with the Marymount community, Marymount University. So, and also they're also at the San Pedro um, Magnet High School at the John O'Gean campus. So students um, at San Pedro High School not will not only graduate from high school, but they'll earn their AA degree with the partnership with Marymount College. So we love you, Marymount College, and congratulate you. Springboarding off its Interact Club at, at our local Chadwick School. The club is working to establish a partnership with local clubs in Songdo, South Korea. In addition, this club has been very focused on international efforts to eradicate polio. Last year alone, the club donated enough vaccine to immunize 1,400 children in Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Nigeria. The club also supports the Myanmar Orphanage Water Project, making a difference in the health of children in that country. Susie, in recognition of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club's support of volunteerism and service to a wide range of philanthropies across the country, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce is honored to present your club with the Outstanding Community Service Program Award. So anyway, I just, uh, Sandy said a lot of great things about Rotary, and if you haven't checked us out, I would encourage anybody who's interested to come visit us. We meet at lunchtime at the PV Golf Club on Fridays, and it's a great group of people, and we do phenomenal things, not only locally, but throughout the world. So if you have time and you would love to get to know us, please join us. It's my open invitation as president. You're my guest. Um, the one thing I'm so excited about, we recently are starting an Interact Club at the PV uh, at Penn, and we have 120 kids that are interested in becoming part of our group. So that's a phenomenal number of kids who want to change the world, just like Rotarians all over, like locally and 
all over the world. That's what we're all about. So I am excited and I'm so proud and my club is so proud to be up here honored with, with this. It's amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you, the chamber. And the university is also a strong community partner providing leadership expertise and sponsorships to a host of local nonprofit organizations, including our Chambers of Commerce, the Volunteer Center, the PV Library D District, Norris Center, Peninsula Education Foundation, the PV Art Center, and much, much more. Marymount is a major asset to our community, bringing culture, higher education, creativity, innovation, and jobs. Michael and Bert, in recognition of Marymount California University's service to our community, your focus on expanding educational opportunities to a diverse student body, and your commitment to social responsibility for all, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce is honored to present you with the Outstanding Nonprofit Organization Award for 2013. Congratulations. I want to thank the Palos Verdes uh, Peninsula Chamber of Commerce for this wonderful award. Our trustees, faculty, staff, and students also thank the community for this very special recognition. Marymount's commitment to being an outstanding community partner is woven into everything that we do. Whether we are providing hours and service to other nonprofit organizations, offering free classes to area senior adults, or hosting free lectures, concerts, and theatrical productions, we are working to make the entire peninsula an even more wonderful place to live. Thank you. Dr. Brophy? Thank you. Thank you, Bert. Eileen, come here. Eileen, let me, please, uh, let me first uh, apologize because I think I was speaking before when you were trying to speak to the audience. No. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, oh, before, yes, you yes. were. I was, yeah, you must so, have been acting up in class. So <laughs> would, you, would you believe I spent many hours in detention in school? <laughs> Because I, I was always talking when the teacher was talking, so I want to apologize. And I want to thank Mayor Brooks for, for sitting me down. Thank you very much, Susan. So we are really grateful to be um, here. Uh, there are s all of the not-for-profits here. You notice I said not-for-profit, not non-profit. Not and the, the, all the non-profits here really uh, deserve a place on the stage tonight. We are so grateful uh, to be on, um, on the same uh, podium tonight with the two, two great Rotary Clubs. And I will remember, uh, never forget, uh, Jerry Farrell and Don Reeves uh, in my office my very first day, I, certainly my very first week in 2006, and um, taking a Kiwanian and making him an honorary Rotarian. <laughs> and I'll never forget probably my, my first formal meeting with the, with the other a great uh, Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club. I think I met them actually when I was in my Darth Vader regalia, right? <laughs> They asked me to play the piano and wear my Darth Vader outfit. So, so we are so glad to, to be uh, included with these groups. And of course, um, what, what, what can we say? Uh, Sandra Sanders, a great mentor to the, our campus and a great mentor and friend to Tara and I as well. So, so glad to be part uh, again uh, and so close to her. We have um, so many folks in the audience uh, that I was wondering how we were going to recognize them, but, but we're going to do this really, really efficiently and, and I promise we'll, uh, we'll be done in, in 60 seconds. Uh, so we're going to ask folks to stand. Uh, one, of the, one of the women who was there founding our campus where we are now, uh, please stand, Sister Antoine Marie Barrier. Sister Antoine. Please stand. Okay, stay standing. If I can have all, um, all, sister, please stay standing. Sister. <laughs> sister and I were in board meetings all day. It was a long day, wasn't it? But we had, let's uh, stay standing as we go through this quickly. All of our board members, please stand. All, of, thank you. Please stay standing. <clears throat> there are so many of you in the audience who are on our various advisory councils. Please stand, advisory councils, folks, please stand. Terry, of course. Uh, faculty, current and past, please stand. Stay standing. Susan Brooks, you taught at our campus. Please stand. Yes, faculty, staff as well. Okay, here's when it gets good. Marymount moms or dads, stand, please. Anyone who sent their child to Marymount, right? 
How about Marymount grandparents, grandpas, granddaughters? I know you, grandmoms. I know you're out there. Where's and the preschool counts, by the way. Where's Charlie and Barbara? All right, you can stand. Okay, we're almost there. If you uh, are a Marymount uh, godfather, godmother, <laughs> uncle, niece, right? The most important for not-for-profits, donors, please, as well. And let's, let's end it on this. Anyone who's been to a Marymount event and just had a great time, please stand. All right? So let's make it easy. On the count of three, we love Marymount. One, two, three. We love Marymount. Thank you very much. And now to uh, a lady that's an absolute icon in Los Angeles County, our 2013 Citizen of the Year, Sandra Sanders, uh, is going to be recognized for her extraordinary and incredible philanthropic leadership. Personally, she has supported a number of different charitable causes, always motivating others to get involved with her and join her in helping others. In, making folks match up like they never thought they could match up before. The length and the breadth of her philanthropic work reaches across the entire Los Angeles County area and even across the nation to her home state of Louisiana. As the woman behind the vision and success of REMAX estate properties, Sandra is one of the industry's icons and Xandy leaders, honored and admired throughout California's real estate community. She has been consistently awarded the highest accolades, including the REMAX LLC's prestigious Broker Owner of the Year Award, the first woman ever to win this award. She also received the National Home Ownership Award by RIS Media and has served as the, as the president of the Palos Verdes Association of Realtors. Together with their family, this legendary entrepreneur has built REMAX estate properties into one of the leading real estate companies in the nation with over 600 agents, three billion in sales volume, and offices stretching from the harbor to the South Bay and extending into West Los Angeles. She also found the independent escrow company, Peninsula Escrow, and is a partner in Progressive Title Company. And in her spare time, <laughs> Sandra's philanthropic work is equally impressive and most importantly, very far reaching. She has made charitable contributions and a very, she's made it a very personal and professional priority. Through the years, her company has fed thousands of people at Thanksgiving and regularly donated toys to the needy children. Locally, Sanders, a longtime supporter of the Norris Center for the Performing Arts, Mary, Marymount California University, Torrance Memorial Center, Medical Center. I have no idea where you're sitting. And it's exciting new patient tower. The YWCA, the Rainbow Services, incredible program. St. John Fisher, building a new church. St. Simon and St. Jude. She's got all the saints covered, man. I'm, that's what I'm saying, all right. She has served on countless boards advisory committees and chaired many fundraising galas, as we all know, for these very worthy organizations and many others. Uh, I have a great story to tell her about her generosity and strategic approach to charity to share with you. Several years back, there was this incident in America called Hurricane Katrina that devastated her home state. Sandra encouraged her employees to raise money for recovery efforts with the challenge, we always know about her challenges, that she would match their contributions. Her agents raised $35,000, and in turn, she matched it to bring it to $70,000. Sandra, your compassion, your service, your generosity, and philanthropic leadership have brought hope, comfort, and joy to your fellow citizens far beyond the boundaries of what most of us in this room would ever hope to accomplish. The positive impact that you have had on the lives of others simply cannot be measured. You represent the essence of volunteerism and giving back to others and truly making a difference. You inspire all of us 
to rededicate ourselves to service and to philanthropy. On behalf of the Palace British Chamber of Commerce and in recognition of your many, many years of philanthropic leadership, we are deeply honored to present you with the 2013 R. Eric P. Allen, excuse me, the R. Eric P. Allen Citizen of the Year Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Sandra! In the house. Thank you so much. You can imagine that I am very overwhelmed and honored with this unbelievable recognition. But and I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce and also thank my friends and my business associates because they, of course, they had a big influence on my life. You know, my husband and I came from Louisiana over 40 years ago, and unbelievably, we settled on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, which was certainly very lucky for us, and it was a blessing, and the opportunities came around, and uh, we were felt very passionate about real estate, and I've been very, very lucky that my family, my three children, have become involved in my company, and so we have a, a very happy uh, relationship and we feel that uh, we are helping others and we enjoy uh, our work, which is wonderful. We feel very enthusiastic about everything we do. And because we're uh, able to um, be somewhat successful, we're able to, to give to others. So we feel very, very fortunate and we love Palos Verdes and all the people, and we feel very blessed. We all live on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, and uh, we really want to thank you. Uh, I'm overwhelmed and very, very appreciative with these honors. Thank you. some of the organizations that you're involved with? Well, I'm, I'm very involved with St. John Fisher Church. Uh, I was on the fundraising committee, and I don't know if you've been on the corner of Crest and Crenshaw, but there is a beautiful church that's about to be open, and I feel very proud that uh, I'm a part of that. And also all the many organizations, the YWCA, where they really need me and others to contribute to the people, and of course the Norris Theater and Rainbow Services and uh, Marymount College. I love Marymount College. I've had two step granddaughters go there and it changed their lives. They were not doing well and they both came out beautifully. Uh, so I really appreciate it. I, I'm not even real sure what Marymount College does for students, but something because both of these children just turned out beautifully. Are your family members here with you tonight? They definitely are. Well, this is going to be a night to remember for you. I'm sure it's going to be a little overwhelming, but we want you to really enjoy it. And thank you for spending some time with us tonight. Well, thank you so much.